What's up, Andrew Fanex? Tech Fanex now from AndrewRoots.com. With me at the Nexus 4, yes, I am so happy to hold the Nexus 4 in my hand. It's amazing. And obviously, uh, how, why wouldn't we make it even more amazing by installing Clockwork Mod? So that's what we're going to be doing today on a Mac. If you have a Windows computer and if, if you'd like to know how to do it on a Windows computer, check out the annotation right at the top corner somewhere on this uh, screen right around here <laughs> um, to uh, learn how to do it on a, a Windows computer. But this is for Mac, just keep that in mind. Um, I just want to let you know that this will um, do a factory set on your phone. So if you've ever uh, done a factory set on any other device, you do know that it deletes um, all your um, content like uh, apps, contacts, all the other good stuff. So make sure you do back up your apps, contacts, contacts, and all that as well. Just be prepared to do a factory set because um, you will need to do that. So let's head down and let's get this started so you can uh, install, uh, enjoy uh, installing mods, tweaks, all the other good stuff for your um, Galaxy. Or you're in a Nexus 4. Yeah. So first thing you need to do is power off your phone. And then we're going to enter into bootloader mode. So give that a few, a few seconds to power off. Okay, once it's powered off, press the volume up. Volume down. And power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power. But keep holding volume up and volume down. So all three. Vibration, let go of the power. Okay, now you will see this screen. Uh, don't worry, you don't have to mess with this at all. I'm um, just plugging your phone via micro USB. And after that, we're going to head down to computer and we're going to do some uh, commands there. Yeah. Also, make sure you do plug in the other side of the cable to your com uh, com computer via micro USB to the USB port. So, as you can see on my computer screen, I have a folder called Clockwork Mod Nexus 4 right here. And um, as always, I have a link below to download it. So go ahead and click on the link below, download this folder, and make sure you do unzip it on your desktop. So as you can see, my folder is on my desktop. So make sure this folder, the Clockwork Mod Nexus 4 folder, is on your desktop because if you don't, you're gonna run into problems when you type in the commands in terminal. So make sure it's on your desktop. So there's no need to open it or anything like that. So go ahead and open up terminal, and we're gonna type in some commands. So the first command we'll be typing is in is CD desktop. And before I continue anymore, um, if you can't read this or for any reason you uh, want to see a written guide, step-by-step -step guide, um, click on the same link below and it, that's a written step-by-step -step guide as well. So you can just go through all the steps uh, without watching this whole video if you would like that, um, if you prefer that. So after CD desktop, enter, we're going to type in CD, root, uh, CD, clock, work, mod, Nexus 4 enter and then we're going to type in dot slash fastboot dash mac space oem unlock so this is going to unlock your bootloader so just press enter you're going to get these dots and now when you look on your phone you're going to see this uh, uh unlock bootloader question mark so it's going to give you an option for yes or no obviously you want to choose yes so select the power or volume up and power button select yes and now, hopefully the camera does focus, you'll be able to see right there, there we go. It says, uh, it's in red, lock state, locked. So that means you're, or, sorry, lock state, unlocked. So that means your bootloader is unlocked. And we're one step uh, closer to um, having Clockwork Mod. So now we're gonna actually uh, flash Clockwork Mod on our uh, device. So we're gonna type in dot slash, fastboot, dash Mac, flash, recovery, space, recovery, and make sure you do type in recovery twice, that's not an accident, uh, make sure you do type it in twice. And then you can just press tab and it will automatically fill in the, the rest of the file name for you automatically, uh, very easy. And just press enter and now it's going to be flashing uh, the clock mod recovery on your Nexus 4. So give it a few seconds to finish uh, flashing this. Okay, so as you can see, mine's um, says it's sending recovery and it's stuck on there because um, I already flashed Clockwork Mod Recovery, but since you're, this is your first time flashing Clockwork Mod Recovery, it will not be stuck on here. It will uh, say send, sending uh, 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 recovery, then flash recovery, all that, then at the end it'll say OK. So once it does say OK, um, we can head enter phone and uh, enter into recovery mode. So once it's finished flashing it or installing recovery on your phone, let's head enter phone. Okay, so once it is done uh, flashing the uh, clock or my recovery on your phone, you can obviously unplug your phone because we are basically done. So from this screen, press the volume up twice and power button to select recovery mode. And this will in um, flash you into recovery mode basically. 
Now, before you do select reboot system now or install Ziff Master Card, we're gonna have to do one more thing, and that is wipe data slash factory set once more, or you're gonna get stuck in a boot loop and soft break your phone. Because if you uh, just select reboot system now right away, you're gonna get stuck onto the uh, X Nexus logo forever. So make sure you do wipe data slash factory set and select yes. And don't worry, you were, you already did a factory set earlier because you unlocked that bootloader. So it doesn't matter at the end of the day. So once you got that complete, um, now you can uh, install Zip SD card, do anything you want. Uh, you only have to do that wipe data slash factory reset for the very first time. Just because you were installing a new recovery or you would run into problems earlier. And also when you're exiting out of recovery, make sure you don't hold down the power button to exit. Uh, make sure you do select reboot system now, that is much safer and easier to do at the end of the day. Or you might uh, run into problems or just you know messing up your recovery mode and all that. So make sure you just select a reboot system now to um, finish, um, to exit our recovery and to boot your phone into normal state. That's about, it. That's about it guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the sub subscribe button right up there. And give me a big old thumbs up down below right here as well. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you next time. Also, don't forget to follow me, add me, and like me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Plus. All three sites, or all three ways, social networks are great places also to get in contact with me for this video or any other video that you may need help on. You may have a problem with it or anything else as well. Thanks for watching, guys. And also, don't forget to check out that Windows guide right there if you do need it on Windows. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.